The International Crimes Tribunal in Dhaka has sentenced former Jamaat-e-Islami leader Shakawat Hussain to death. Seven others have been sentenced to life in prison. They're accused of carrying out atrocities in the 1971 War of Independence. Jamaat-e-Islami was formed in 1941. Today, it's Bangladesh's biggest Islamic and opposition party. In 1971, the party opposed Bangladesh breaking away from Pakistan. It sided with Pakistan in the war and stands accused of genocide and human rights violations, which it denies. In March 2010, Dhaka set up an international crimes tribunal to try people for crimes committed during the war, but international humanitarian agencies have accused the tribunal of bias. Bangladesh has executed four Jamaat-e-Islami leaders for war crimes, including its chief, Mortir Rahman Nizami. Human rights groups have condemned the executions, which they say are politically motivated. Well, for more on this, uh, we're joined now from Dhaka uh, by David Bergman. David, thank you very much. Uh, good to see you. I mean, was this conviction in any way a surprise? Not really. Um, there have been a countless numbers of trials so far before the International Crime Tribunal, and in almost all cases there are convictions, and in fact those who are convicted do receive a death penalty. In this particular case, the main person, Shakawa Hussein, who in 1971 was a leader of the student wing of the jamaat e islami was, uh, he received the death penalty, and whilst uh, and seven of his alleged collaborators who committed, alleged to have committed crimes during the independence war of Bangladesh, they received life sentences. So it's a little bit surprising, perhaps, that all of them didn't receive death sentences if we look at the previous history of the International Crimes Tribunal, since that has been a common penalty that has been imposed. But certainly, it is no surprise that uh, Chakawa Chusain, who, subsequent to the 1971 war, changed parties a number of times, he was a uh, subsequently became a, a member of parliament in the opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party, and then he became uh, a leader of the Jatiya Party. The Jatiya Party now is a party that is supportive of the Awami League government. So it is interesting that uh, the tribunal has uh, convicted a, an individual who is currently a member of a political party that is supportive of the current government. How closely has this case been watched by people in Bangladesh and, and what's the reaction been? The trials have, over the last few years, been a very central part of this country's politics. Um, those who supported the trials were very keen that the um, crimes that were committed uh, over 40 years ago, uh, there was a, finally a court of law that would hear the allegations and determine guilt. Um, but they believe for many years there have been impunity for those who have been involved in those offences. Uh, on the other side, there were individuals who claimed that these trials were politically motivated and there was a lack of due process. And those issues were very much at the heart of Bangladesh's political process for some time. But uh, in recent months, uh, since the onset of the militancy in this country, um, involving most recently the killing of over 20 people uh, at a cafe in the capital city of Dhaka. Focus has been very much upon that issue, um, those killings allegedly committed by Daesh. And the International Crime Tribunal has definitely been very much in the back burner. And so it is unlikely to result in that much interest in the Congress at the moment. Um, and it's also because it's uh, Shakawa Jassin is not a member, a current leader of the op any opposition party. It's not likely to result in uh, significant protests on the streets, if, if any at all. Okay, David, thank you.